DXR is a Unity package for rapid prototyping of immersive data visualizations in augmented, mixed, and virtual reality, or XR for short. DXR's recipe is very simple. As input, we provide the tabular data and the VIS specifications, or VIS specs, and DXR creates the visualization for us. A visualization in DXR is a collection of Unity game objects whose properties, such as position, color, and size, are mapped to data attributes. This mapping is specified in the vis specs JSON file using a high-level visualization grammar inspired by Vigalite. To demonstrate this, let's create a simple visualization. Starting with an empty Unity scene, we first apply the default mixed reality settings, which provides camera and input components. Then, let's create an instance of the DXRVis prefab in our scene. Next, we'll specify the corresponding Vis specs file name via the inspector window. In this JSON file, we specify the visualization design using DXR's visualization grammar. In this example, the data is loaded from a local file describing different cars and each data point is mapped to a cube graphical mark. The X and Y positions of the cubes are mapped to quantitative data attributes, while the color is mapped to a nominal data attribute. Given this specification, DXR infers the best default parameters of a visualization and generates it in the scene at runtime. With the scene running in the XR device, for example, a HoloLens, we also have the option to modify the visualization via the Graphical User Interface, or GUI. We can modify the vis specs using either the GUI or a code editor with the ability to seamlessly switch between the two. We can always switch to the code editor to modify visualization parameters that are not exposed in the GUI, such as modifying scale domains and adding interactive filters. Instead of starting from scratch, we can reuse existing VIS specs as templates and just replace the data as shown in this 3D space-time cube example. Here, we replace the initial data from trading volumes between countries across time to collaboration frequency between researchers across time. One of the strengths of augmented reality is the ability to show data visualizations in the real-world context. In this next example, DXR is used in a situated visualization of the service locations of a table tennis player. The balls are color-coded according to the set that the service was played. Here, we use cone marks to visualize the 3D locations and directions from which an exhibit has been photographed, with the colors encoding the type of camera used. Guided by the visualization, the user decides to take a photo from a popular viewpoint. To make this visualization more engaging, we can also change the marks from cones to eyes that view the exhibit from different perspectives. In this example, we enhance an exhibited book by overlaying a 3D word cloud that visualizes the keywords found in the book. DXR can be easily extended to use any Unity game object as a graphical mark. In this example, the size of flame particle systems are used to visualize the hours to decay of different organic materials in this artwork installed on a wall. Visualizations can be easily rescaled and viewed either in augmented or virtual reality, providing different perspectives to analyze data such as this 3D WindFlow dataset visualized using paper airplane models. We can view the same data in VR for a more immersive experience. And since the XR visualizations are standard Unity game objects, they can be manipulated using standard plugins, such as this gesture-based interface using a leap motion controller. This 3D geospatial visualization in VR was adapted from an existing Unity project, so it can be easily reused and customized without the need to fiddle with low-level code. We can also create virtual dashboards in VR for visual analytics with multiple views. 
This example demonstrates how we can extend the user's visualization space by leveraging VR environments. These are just a few examples built with DXR. Please visit the DXR website for more examples and detailed documentation. You can also help us improve DXR by providing your feedback in the homepage and sharing with us your creations using DXR. Thank you.